Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the never do through the GUI what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis Prokopiou and you are watching Bulk Image Resizing. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, topic about bulk image resizing because as uh, developers that I suppose that you are too in order to, to see my videos as uh, developers we have to do a lot of uh, web development work uh, and one of the aspects that we have to take care when we are creating uh, web development uh, projects is our images in the pages because as we know uh, the images can take up a lot of space and make our pages quite uh, big and laggy there are resources about this subject, about optimizing your images. Uh, this is an example article by Google for the web developers. There are other articles too, like this one, etc., etc., where you can uh, find information about this topic and what you should do in order to optimize your images. But now I wanted to, to show you what I do in order to achieve this. So uh, let's see, uh, I created an HTML page here, which uh, includes two, two images. As you can see, they are very big indeed. The images are uh, in this folder. These are the two images that we use. As you can see, they are quite large. One of them is uh, 2.4 megabytes and the other one is 3.2 megabytes. As you can understand we have to optimize these images because this is a huge uh, size to use on the web. Uh, only these two images take up approximately 5.5 uh, megabytes um, of data for our page. So we have to optimize these images and make them sp smaller and appropriate for the web. Now, the way I achieve this is of course to bulk uh, resize the images and uh, also strip the metadata of the images. And in order to achieve this, I have created a script, which is this one, web images. If I run it, you will see that it uh, <coughs> informs me that I have to provide a target width for the new images. So let's say for example that I want our my new images to have a width of 1200 pixels. I will run the script and if we check now we will see that we have a new directory here with the desired uh, output width and if we check in there we will also see two new images uh, with the same name but the um, the width appended here so I just created these two new images let's go and check in the browser let's run an audit for this site just uh, out of curiosity, let's run an audit about the performance. And as you can see, there are opportunities for optimizations. Uh, one is the properly, properly sized images. And another one, which is of course related, is avoid enormous network payloads. So if we come here, as you can see, as I said, it's about 5.5 megabytes transferred for this uh, for this page with just these two images and a simple HTML page. This is the HTML page. Now let's try using uh, the other images, the new images. So we will copy this, we will comment out this, and we will say that we want to use the 1200 and let's do the same here in 
and see if anything changes. Let's close this, let's come here and as you can see we are now using the new the new image the 1200 width image and let's run an, a new audit here to see the feedback Uh, as you can see now we only have one uh, performance suggestion st serve static assets with an efficient cache policy we fixed the problem we had with the images we can go even further I will demonstrate it as we sh as we saw now we have uh, a version of the images which is uh, 1200 uh, pixels wide we can also create another, for example, uh, version of them with a width of 640. If we run the script, we will see a new folder and in that folder we will see the new images which are even smaller. Let's check them all out. This is Uh, and as you can see, these are the initial uh, <coughs> the initial files uh, 2.4 and 3.2. The 1,200 versions have 191 kilobytes and uh, 323 kilobytes respectively, and the 640 versions have seven, uh, 57 Ks and 103 Ks respectively. As you can see this is a huge benefit, huge gain for the web and the, <coughs> the final output uh, is as you can see you cannot see any real differences in the eye apart from the reduced size. Let's go and use the 640 just out of curiosity to check the final uh, uh, size of our page. We started with uh, 5.5 uh, megabytes and now we will check with the small versions of the images let's go here, let's refresh and let's inspect the page and if we refresh as you can see from 5.5 megabytes we are now down to 161 kilobytes this is a huge difference but now as the last part let's check what this uh, script does we, let's check together sorry this, this uh, script if we see what it is it is a script which lies here and if we check this out we will see the script together uh, I am starting the script by executing this command in order to see if the convert uh, binary the image magic binary exists in the system if it does not exist if this command does not execute successfully then I am echoing out that we need image magic to be installed and we exit the script then if we, if we pass this check we continue checking if an argument has been provided for the desired width and if it, it uh, was not uh, provided then again we exit with status 1 and in the end 
we create the target directory for the new files here and then what we do is we loop within the images directory we find all the files with max depth 1 in order to avoid re <coughs> recalculating the images that al already have been uh, calculated the other versions I mean not uh, the, s the initial ones we extract some variables here the file name the extension and finally we convert the image by resizing according to the provided target width and this has the effect to keep the aspect ratio of the image plus we strip all the metadata this flag strips all the metadata of the image so we have a reduction both in size and in met metadata data and then we save this image to the new directory which equals the argument provided and we use uh, the file name plus the new uh, width target width plus the extension and then we exit the script uh, I hope that uh, you will find uh, this uh, script useful and this video useful because as I said if you are indeed a developer and uh, especially a web developer then this is something that you need to do a lot if you don't have already a workflow for your images uh, you should uh, think about setting up one uh, this specific workflow works for me others use other build tools but uh, this one works for me and this is what I am currently using well this is the info that I wanted to share with you in this video if you like this video you can help spreading it by sharing it you can also comment like and subscribe by clicking the penguin that you will see on the screen thank you for watching and have a great day